In this short video, we're going to show you how to resize an image to use for PDI competitions within the Dawkins Camera Club, and also how to put a key line around that image in Photoshop. Uh, we'll demonstrate three sizes of image, um, a landscape, a portrait and a square image. For our club purposes, we need to only resize one size of side of the image, depending on whether it's a landscape or portrait for PDI purposes. The sizes of our club images are 1400 pixels wide, by 10 to 50 pixels high. That does not mean to say, however, it has to be those images on each side. In Photoshop, choose the image size and ensure the pixels are shown here. And you'll see this image is 14469 by 3003 pixels. We want this width now to corresponds to 1400 pixels wide. Ensure that the anchor is on so that it will automatically change the height. This has now resulted in a size of 1400 pixels wide and automatically resize the height to 941 pixels. The resolution is still 300 dpi, which is what we want, and we just press OK. And that is the size of the image that you want from PDI. Now you would save this from a TIFF file, which I have here, save as a JPEG file for PDI purposes. And, and that's it. Let's have a look at the portrait picture. The same size uh, ratios apply. Image size. In this instance, though, we want to change the height from 2000 to our required height of 1050 maximum. Again, this has automatically changed the width to 700 pixels to preserve the ratio. Resolution on this one happens to be 150, which is fine. Now, when we come to a square, and there are many uh, PDI square images that uh, are used. It is not the maximum pixels, it is the um, horizontal, uh, it's the vertical pixels we have to take into account. In other words, a square must not be 1400 pixels square, it must be 1050 pixels square, and that will automatically change. Now, this particular image is not already square, so we have to square it up. To do that, we remove the anchor and change the image, the uh, pixel size is not correct. Now, that will give us 1050 by 1050 pixels, 300 dpi. And that's the resized square image ready to be used in the PDI competition. Before you go into PDI, what you might like to do is to put a key line around your image just to enhance it and to separate it from the background that it's being projected onto. Key lines are not judged by the judges, but they do comment on them sometimes if they are too thick or too bright, or they are of a color that is not represented within the color palette 
of the image. So let's have a look at how we would do this in Photoshop. In your layers index, unlock the padlock and double click on the thumb view. This will bring up another menu called layer style. On here, you'll see several references to stroke. Click the top one and this has automatically added a stroke line around this image. However, let's make a few changes. I would recommend that a stroke line, key line should never be more than two pixels. This is one pixel. This is two pixels. And if we just show you what six pixels would be like, for example, it's far too thick and does not complement that image at all. So we revert to two pixels in the PX box here. Now the important part of putting a key line around here without affecting the size of the image is to ensure that the blend mode, the position is on the inside, not the outside or the center, but just on the inside. The blend mode is normal. At the moment, the, op op the op 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 opacity is 100%. We'll come back to that. And the color here is yellow. Now, I'd like to change that color border. So we click on the palette square and a color picker box comes up. Now, you can then choose a color to complement. It could be blue from the sky there, it could be green from the grass or a beige from the tracks. I think a blue from the sky is quite appealing and complements that quite nicely. So we'll say okay to that. A the color there is blue and we say okay to that. And there you have a nice two millimeter, uh, two pixel uh, key line to complement that photograph. On a mono image, um, you wouldn't need particularly a color key line. So it's always best to keep to something simple, i.e. black or white. And if your images are generally projected onto a, black, onto a white screen, then it's preferable to have a black key line. If your images are going to be projected onto a black background or a dark gray back, black background, such as on um, a Zoom presentation that we've been doing lately, then probably you need to have a lighter key line. Process is the same, choose two pixels. It's on the inside, the opacity is 100%. And we will choose, we can either choose white from here or we can choose a white or light gray from the image, which I usually prefer to do. And that is very subtle, but it just closes that image and finishes it off nicely for PDI competition. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something from that. And if you have any questions, please contact anybody at the Dawkins Camera Club who will be pleased to help you. Thank you.